Hi everyone, it's me, hello Ia. Welcome to my channel. I am, and you guys know what I'm gonna say. Say it with me, I'm so excited because today we are gonna play with the ColourPop Stranger Thing collection. I have the whole thing right here. I am so excited. I love Stranger Things. If you're a fan of the show, I think they really did a great job bringing this show to life. So with that being said, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. I wanna start with the lip mask first. How cute is this? It is a little waffle lip mask. Here she is out of the box. She's a little bit fatter than the normal lip masks, but also shorter. So I'm sure it's the same amount of product just in a little bit different format. Oh my God, it smells like, I almost just stuck my nose in. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too excited, I need to calm down. It smells like maple syrup, but not real maple syrup. It smells like Aunt Jemima. It smells so good. Oh my God, it's making me so hungry for pancakes. I don't know about you, but I love to wear a lip mask while I do my makeup. Lately, my lips have been pretty dry. I feel like they're like fighting against me. One of my little tricks, it's not a secret. Everyone does this, I think, but is to just put on a lip mask while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And that way, by the time I get to my lips, hopefully they're a little bit more moisturized in a little bit of a better place. I've used the ColourPop lip masks for years now, so I'm pretty sure this is the same formulation, same great lip mask that they always have been. Uh, so I can already say like, I love this and I love the fragrance. The scent of this is so good. Next up is the cream blush. Look at this little cassette tape packaging. And on the back it says buyers. Here she is out of the box. And this one is like kind of spooky looking. She's black in the pan, but this is one of those like pH correcting situations where it's pink. It's pink. And like that's cute and that's fine. I think it's a little bit gimmicky, honestly. Like I don't, I don't know how I feel about all this pH stuff that's going on in the makeup world right now. I think it does vibe with Stranger Things though. I think this totally makes sense. I'm not mad at it. I don't wanna to seem too negative here. I'm not mad at it. I just can't help but think of all the other pH changing things that are happening in the makeup world when I use this. Okay, I'm just gonna say this now, like, cause this is not the first cream blush I've used from ColourPop. There is something really plasticky about the way their cream blushes smell and I don't know if I like it. So this is the blush. I really like it. I like it a lot, it's very pretty. So I'm gonna set my face and do a little bronzing and I'll be right back. So next up we're gonna do highlight and in this collection we have the Hawkins Milk which is a liquid highlighter. Okay, this looks very pretty very liquidy, so I need to be very careful. I think I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger, and honestly, that might even be too much. Just kind of tap that out, share it among a couple fingers, and just kind of lightly tap on my cheek here. Ooh, that's pretty though. That's nice. But like what I like to do with these type of things is also put it on my shoulders, on my collarbones, and just create a little sparkly moment. I like it. I think it's cute. Now, I think we're up to my favorite part, which is Eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow palette. 
Here is what she looks like out of the box. I do want to show the back because this is very cool. The, the shade names, how like some of them are like peeling. Well, they look like they're peeling. Very cool. Very creepy. I'm pretty excited. And here's the inside. Very pretty. And there's also these like chrome liquid eyeshadows. So let's look at those two. So these look like this. They look very metallic and shifty. They're definitely chrome. I would say at least duochrome. There's definitely a nice shift. I think I'm gonna start with this up here called D&D &D, and also use this gray called the gate to do my crease area. That's a lot grungier than I thought it was going to be. I'm not mad, I just, I like it. We have that D&D &D shade laid down. Now we're gonna dip into the gate. That is so pretty. That's a really pretty gray. It's like a bluish gray. She's very pigmented. So I'm just gonna buff and blend a little bit here and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so I've got that blended to a place where I'm happy. I really like the contrast of like the dark gray with this light, peachy, mauvey, grungy shade. Really cute. Okay, so next we're gonna deepen both of these up. So I'm gonna take the shade Demogorgon to deepen up the inner corner of my eye and we're gonna go in with this black here called the Void to deepen up the outer corner. Wow, I love that. That looks so vampy. It's, it's amazing. Okay, this is definitely what I was hoping to get out of this color. We're looking sickly. We're looking vampiric. We're looking a little nuts. That's okay, that's part of the process. I think I have a cat hair. Also part of the process when you are me and you have this many kitties. But I did go back in and just kind of buff and blend between the gate and the void and between D&D &D and Demogorgon. So now it's time to move into the shimmers. So what I think I'm gonna do is take this beautiful shimmer shade here called Hungry for Blood. And this like almost pressed glitter, but not quite the upside down. I'm gonna take these two shades and put them all over my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with the multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow as kind of a topper in the very middle part. Mine is almost gone, but it's the NYX glitter primer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade upside down. Look how pretty she is. Like, oh my goodness. So pretty and sparkly. I love these types of shades from ColourPop. I know they're not everyone's favorites, but they're mine. Oh God, that's gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go in with Hungry for Blood. I'm gonna use my finger at first, but I'll have to switch to my little silicone brush because my nails are too long and I just can't get in there like I need to. I think I'm gonna go in with this blue shimmer called Hive Mind as well along my lower lash line. I could be happy with the look right here, but I do really want to try this. Again, this is interdimensional. 
interdimensional and I'm just gonna put that on the very center of my lid. I need my mirror for this one. I actually think that goes really well between these two colors. I'm very happy with my choice. I'll do the other eye, put on some eyeliner in my lash line, some mascara, we'll come back for the lips. So I ended up doing a black eyeliner in my waterline, Natasha Denona Macrotech Eye Crayon in my waterline, and then I just went in with mascara. I've been using the Blend Bunny Omni Lash, and I'm just gonna line my lips with this lip pencil. This one's from Tatcha in shade Beauty Berry. So I'm just, I'm not even gonna line my lips, I'm gonna color in my whole lips, basically, with this lip pencil, because then we're gonna play with these little cuties, and like, oh, these are so pretty, and this is like, marketing genius. This is marketing genius. I've got the lip liner on. Whoever works on the marketing team at ColourPop deserves a raise because this is so cute. Such a good idea, so well executed. Down to like the wall behind on the packaging. It's just so good. Here are the three lip glosses. They're so pretty. I love how sparkly they are. I'm a little bit torn between the blue and the red. I might go blue just to create like a purple effect. This one's called Run. It smells lovely. Couldn't tell you what. Okay, I'm back. I did my hair. I know, who am I? And I put in some earrings. These are from Grime Peace Love Creations. She made some of my favorite earrings. But anyway, I'm back. This is the finished look. What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. I really like the blush. I think I put on so much earlier and I think I should have put on more because blush always looks less intense after a little while and I would like actually a little more blush. So I might actually go back with a powder blush and intensify this a little bit once I'm done filming. I really like the liquid highlighter. I think it looks really pretty with this blush. The lip mask, great. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous and it's the good ColourPop quality, it's so good. The shimmers are so pretty. I almost didn't want to use the multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow things because the shimmers looked so good without anything else. But I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I went out of my comfort zone. This actually looks really nice. I was worried it would dry down and be like crackly or crunchy because I am in my 40s. I do have kind of crinkly eyes. I was worried it would dry down and be yucky, but it it looks really good. I like it and I think it blends really well with the other two shimmer shades I picked out. The lip glosses are lip glosses. They're great. I wish that more of the glitter flakes came out and maybe they will eventually, um, but that's my one complaint. I mean, is anyone shocked that I like this collection? I'm a big ColourPop fan. I'm a big Stranger Things fan. I love makeup, I love sparkles, I love grungy, it's spooky season. It's checking all the boxes. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Did you get this? Are you going to? Let me know, let's talk makeup. That's my favorite thing to talk about. And don't forget to subscribe. You can find me on Instagram under the same handle, Hello Ia. I post there pretty much every day. If you wanna see my makeup of the day looks, that's the place to be. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in another makeup video soon. And for now, this is Hello Ia saying, see ya.